What's up guys, we're gonna jump right into this. This is for a 2008 model year M5. This is assuming you've already changed oil before, so I'm not gonna baby step you and say like, you know, jack the car up, put the gloves on. I'll show you what you need as far as like the sizes and stuff. I'll have all this in the description with the prices. Um, but if you haven't changed oil before ever, it's okay, it's not that hard. You'll become a man overnight. You'll be able to grow a beard like this and you'll be drinking diesel fuel for breakfast. So here's what you need. First things first, the M hoodie. Next, six millimeter. Allen for the oil pan drain bolt as well as the drain bolt for the oil filter. This 8mm socket is for the cover that's over the oil filter. This 24mm socket is for the oil filter housing itself. You're going to want an extension for that because it's kind of deep up in there. Next, I use 10W60 Liquid Molly. Uh, I get it from Napa. If you're one of those Troy Juke guys that say, we should be using 5W50, I have my own reasons, but we can talk about that in the comments. We'll go over this in the video. The oil filter, I got this from BMW. There's cheaper ways to get all this. I was just kind of in a rush. I didn't feel like waiting for shipping. So with that said, let's get started. Shout out to the guys I work with, Zach and Monet Racing Group for letting me use this lift. This will make the video a lot easier. Zach, I know I said I wasn't gonna use any of your tools, but I did see this really bright light. It's brighter than my future. This will really help show like the underside of the car. Cause we all know my fat ass wouldn't be able to fit under this car without a lift. So, you, ah shit. So you can get the ramps at Walmart. <laughs> Uh, for cheap, but this just makes it so much easier for you to see what I'm dealing with. So this is, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So this is the eight millimeter, this is what I was talking about, the cover that's over the oil filter. I know like non-BMW people probably say, that's so extra, but it's really not that hard. There's only three bolts. We got one here, two, and then the third one right here. This is really easy to take off. So after just a few turns, I mean, you can get these by hand. So this is what they look like, like I said, only three. So to remove this part, this part is like flexible, so you just pull that back, push this in towards like the engine, and then it should just kind of come out just like this. And I just set it down. So the six millimeter Allen I was talking about, that can remove the drain bolt for the oil filter right here. And that same six millimeter will remove the oil pan drain bolt that's right in the center of the car. There's a cutout right here. You don't need an extension for this. I'm an idiot. I know I said I wasn't gonna baby step you guys, but I forgot to put gloves on. I'm more focused on like the video and what to say than I am of like the actual procedure. So I completely forgot to put gloves on, but remember, please put your gloves on. <laughs> So after the oil filter is done draining, this is the 24 millimeter socket you'll need to remove the oil filter housing. Like I said, you will need an extension to get up in here. Notice I'm still not wearing gloves. Don't be like me. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Dude, what the? I meant to mention as the oil was coming out of the oil pan, if you're concerned about your rod bearings and you have like the Blackstone Labs test kit, that was your chance to put that bottle in there, get the oil as it was flowing and you send that off to see how much metals is in your oil. Generally that tells you about just a good idea of how your rod bearings are looking. I don't need to do that because I just got mine replaced. That's for a different video. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, this is the oil filter housing uh, with the oil filter. Let's go to the new kit uh, over there at my cheesy little cardboard box demonstration table. So the kit comes with a new o-ring gasket that goes around there, a smaller one, and then two copper washers. Obviously a flathead or a pick will remove the old one, and you're going to want to put oil around the new one. I should have gotten two gloves, once again I'm an idiot. As well as the small one here, this is the bolt that goes for the oil filter housing. So slap that on there. Okay. And go ahead and replace the old copper washer from the oil pan drain bolt with the new one. So the new filter, the writing is on the outside that goes inside the housing itself. So the outside has no writing. Okay, so the oil's all out of the car, it's quit draining. So we're gonna put the bolt, the oil pan drain bolt back in there. We've got the new filter in the housing with the O-ring that's all lubed up and ready to go. You put everything back the way you took it out basically. You know, you got the cover right here. 
Don't forget to add oil. I believe it's nine or nine and a half quarts. I'll put that in the description. Don't forget to check that because I'm sure I forgot some stuff that's kind of important. So just for reference, I just added this entire five liter bottle and another one down to the first liter mark here. So a total of nine liters put me at the good mark. Always keep that extra liter in your trunk or backseat, whatever, uh, just in case. As you know, these cars love oil, like the Cookie Monster loves cookies. These things are definitely oil monsters. So when I go to Napa, I actually buy three of these, two for the oil change itself, and then one just for, to be extra. Okay, and now to reset the oil light, you're gonna want to keep your foot off the brake, press the start button twice, that brings up all the electronics. The needle here, you're gonna wanna press and hold that, and that brings up all your options. You can cycle through and reset. There you go. And you cycle through these just by pressing it. You'll see the oil lamp, you're gonna wanna hold that down, it's gonna ask if you wanna reset it. Reset, to say yes, you hold it down again, and that clears it and that's reset and back to 15,000 miles guys please don't change your oil every 15,000 miles I don't know why BMW uses 15,000 as a good interval but it's not uh, I do it every 5,000 and a lot of people do it even sooner so thanks for watching I hope this was helpful uh, see you in the next video